Hello viewers, this is Dao Too Fast here. In today's video, I will show you this brand new product from the company Luyed. It's a super bright external backup LED lights. Oftentimes, your regular backup light might not be very bright, and this additional light will really help illuminate the area behind you when you're backing up at night. So let me first show you what this Luyed LED backup light looks like. Inside this bag, we have two tap connectors and screws, double-sided tape and the LED backup light. Here's a look at the LED backup lights. The enclosure you see right here is all metal. This is a solid unit and it's also waterproof so you can install this outside the vehicle. Now on the front we have this projector lens. Behind this lens we have six high power white LED chip. At the back we have the wire coming out. It goes to these two leads a positive and a negative so you can connect this to your backup lights or you can connect this through a switch so you can manually turn this on or off inside your vehicle. Installation is very simple you can attach the double side tape that comes with this kit and then also use the two screws to mount this onto your vehicle. Now I'll connect my 12 volt power supply to this wiring harness by the way the length of this cable is six and a half feet long also this light is not polarity sensitive so you can connect it either way and it'll still light up. This is very bright, wow. I can't even look directly into it, it's super bright. And the color is very white. Having seen how bright this LED light is, if you mount this behind your car, truck, RV, or trailer, it will definitely help illuminate that area when you're backing up your vehicle. Here's the 2017 Honda CRV, and let me show you where I'll be installing this super bright backup light. As you see on the back here, we have the backup camera on the left side. I'll be installing the backup light on the right side over here. Here's a look at the bottom of this trim piece. As you can see, we have the space where we can easily mount that backup light. For a clean install, we're going to remove this panel so we can run the wire up to where the backup light is. So go around the edge with a pry tool and release the clips all along the edge right here. On this grab handle here, there's a Phillips screw you need to remove. Once you have all the clips released, you need to pull the panel towards the back to take off this panel. So before the panel can be completely removed, you have to remove this grab handle. Once you do that, and this part is a little bit tricky, there are clips at the very top here that will clip into the metal portion of the lift gate right here. Now it's quite difficult to get this piece off. So it sits right in here like this. And there are three of these clips that you need to release at the top edge. But once you remove this grab handle, the entire piece that you see right here will come out. As you can see, there are clips all around the side in the middle. The bottom edge, there are these black clips right here. Next, I'm going to remove that black trim piece that you saw outside. It's held in by two 10 millimeter nuts and three clips. There's one green one here, a brown clip, and another green one on this side. To release these clips, use pliers to squeeze the sides and then push it out. As you can see, this piece comes out now. For this connector, press down on this tab and disconnect. On this one, there's a tab right here. Push this in and come off. So here I'm going to mark where I'll be installing this external backup lights. Besides the two holes for the screws, I'll need to drill one more hole for the wire to be fed at the back here. And for the hole that will be used to pass the wire, I'll be using a 1 8 inch drill bit. Take the wire from the LED and feed it through this hole. Now we'll secure the light with the two screws that came with the kit. Now 
Now to pass a wire into the car, we're going to cut a small slit into this grommet. Now we'll feed the wire through. Now we can reconnect the connectors. Now I'm going to leave some of the slack here so next time if I have to remove this trim piece, I'll have some room to work with. Now we'll run that wire along the wire loom to this backup light right here. Next we're going to splice into these two wires. After soldering the wire, tape it up. With the trim piece installed, don't forget to install the two 10 millimeter nuts. Now before you reinstall all the panels, make sure you test it out, make sure it works. While I have all the panels off, I'm going to replace the regular backup bulb with the Luyed Super Bright LED lights. I'll do the same thing for the other side. Now we'll reinstall all the panels starting with the bottom piece right here. Reinstall the grab handle and the Phillips screw. And here's a look at the finished install. As you can see, these lights look really good. It's super bright, it's very white, and they're very functional. It really helps illuminate the area behind you when you're backing up. Now, if you're interested in getting the external backup lights and perhaps the 921 LED lights, I will include the links for all these products in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section below. And don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.